Hello, we are Visual Impact Media and we're here to tell you about our new sci-fi psychological thriller, Distort. So this film really pushes boundaries when it comes to special effects, soundtrack and story and uh, really asks what reality is as well. So the story follows a young lab intern called Jen Donahue, and she's uh, uh, quite troubled and depressed in the film um, and she starts to see the world for what it really is. I don't know what you're talking about. Well you could tell Mr Blakewell that I'm not stopping until people know the truth about what is going on here. Oh god, no, no get away from me. When Jen gets hit on the head with a bottle during a drunken fight, it becomes clear that something is not quite right. This is more than just a concussion. Money back one way or another. So Jen discovers that the chip in her brain is actually malfunctioning, which shows the world around her to become a polluted, ugly mess. She starts to lose her mind when no one will believe her and starts to question her own sanity. This is all thanks to the man behind it, Tony Blakewell. Look, I'm telling you, it's real. Everything you see right now is, is just a lie. It's, it's crazy, you've got to believe me. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, once you, you see what I mean, you will see that we're, we are actually just living in a wasteland and you can't see it yet, but I'm telling you, it's real. You need help. You need to talk to someone. The drinking's not helping. Ever since the accident, you've just been talking nonsense. Like, you need to get some serious help. There's no getting through to you, people. So, Tony Blakewell is the owner of the massive corporation uh, Blakewell Corp, and that's the, the company that controls how the population see the world. Tony is the one responsible for the amount of pollution in the world and doesn't want people to see the dystopia that he has created. So he invented, invented these chips that are in people's heads so that they see a altered but um, normalised version of the world around them. Jen is then forced into a world of rebellion against Tony, but when everyone else is entangled in the facade, it's really hard for her to try and get everyone um, on her side and to be convinced that what is happening actually is happening. So for this project, I'll be working on the camera to make sure that the audience stay engaged with the piece. So I'm also helping out on the camera um, and I'm also part of the post-production editing part as well. I'm helping Alicia out um, to give the film its sort of finishing touches. For the film, I'll be creating the glitching effects that Jen sees around her when she discovers that the world is not really what it seems. So part of my job role on this is for sound and when making soundscapes and sound effects and music for this it was really important to make those sort of sounds really represent uh, this genre so I've used synths and stuff like that to really uh, enhance the psychological feel to it, airy synths a lot, uh, a lot of uh, violin work and that kind of thing just making it sound kind of creepy in places and a little bit disturbing and a little bit scary. Uh, but also we've got some good action packed scenes so the soundtrack really represents that kind of thing as well. So overall in this film we wanted to show that everything's not as it seems and uh, that's to create confusion with the audience. Um, that way they'll be really able to understand Jen's um, experiences in, in sort of the traumatic blend between the worlds. <laughs> We really want to show the audience an ambitious film that they'll enjoy watching and we also want them to ponder the question, will Jen escape this blurred reality and save the world once and for all? Through all the different elements uh, such as the sound effects, camera work, the script, the story and the visual effects, uh, we really are going to push boundaries with this film and make the audience really feel something when they watch this and really excite them. <laughs>